as you can tell by looking at this crochet, there is a mistake. Can you see it? I'll give you a hint. If you haven't found it, it's in the middle of the screen about now. Just there is only two double crochets and this is supposed to be groups of three. We've got two. What do we do? I found a trick because I am the queen of not paying attention when I'm watching TV. And then you've done five or six rows and you look back and you think, I missed a stitch. I'm going to show you a trick that can fix this without frogging all those rows. What we want to do is find where we've got the two stitches. And this is so simple, you're going to be like, what? So you're going to find where your two stitches are, which is here. And we want to put our crochet hook through the second stitch. So we've got the second stitch here. Just through the top of the stitch there, you're going to poke your crochet hook through and then just come out the other side of the stitch. So it'll be out into the space where what, what gets created when we do a granny stitch. So we're going to put our yarn over our crochet hook. I'm literally just laying it on top and then pull it through. You could do a slip stitch or whatever you do to join your yarn in. That's just how I do mine. And I'm going to do a yarn over and pull through. That is just attaching this main yarn to that stitch, the second stitch that we got there. Now what we want to do is complete the stitch. So we're going to do a double crochet because these two stitches here are double crochet. So yarn over, go into the space, the same space where the two stitches here should be. Well, they are. <laughs> and we're going to yarn over and then complete our double crochet as normal. If you do a chain one, so this project did not have a chain one in between my, my groups of three stitches. There's just three stitches and then skip the into the next space and three stitches. So I don't have a chain one. But if you have a chain one, do you chain one now? So now that we have our third stitch done, what we're going to do is finish off. Leave a little bit extra yarn than you would as normal. So I normally leave about two to three inches. So just go an, another inch than what you would normally do. And then we're going to finish it off. So we're just going to yarn over and then pull through. So if you, like I said, if you had a chain one, you're going to grab your yarn needle, you're, you would have done your chain one. So we throw our yarn needle and we've got our three stitches here. You can see it's a bit weird because it's not attached to anything. So you've got your three stitches there and then you've got these loops that come down, which is the group of three stitches that's on the next row that goes into this space here. So we're going to go underneath those loops, so just sort of pick them up with your needle and try and go underneath. It doesn't have to be perfect, but get it as good as you can. So we've gone underneath the stitches, I don't know if you can see that, but just in case you can. And we're going to pull this through. See how the stitch is poking out there? You want to pull it through. Till it's not poking out and you might have to maneuver these loops here which is the group of three in the next row just kind of flip it over the knot that we created there this is much easier to do I'm making this look really hard it's much easier to do when you're not trying to film a tutorial because I've done it quite a few times before. Come on you, you need to hop over that loop, over the knot. Maybe if we keep tension on that and then flick these ones across. It works, I've done it before. <laughs> okay, there we go. See how the knots disappeared and you can't feel this, obviously it's on a tutorial, but I can feel that the knot is underneath these loops. So now the first stitch of the next group of three double crochets, if I just turn it slightly, 
this is where our mistake was and that's our new stitch and this is the next group of three double crochets if we were crocheting along this is that next group of three double crochets so the first stitch of that one we're going to find it so which is here and into the top of that stitch put your yarn needle through the top of the stitch and pull that yarn through probably doesn't matter if you go front to back or back to front and just pull it snug which will pull the yarn that's underneath here nice and snug again whatever direction you went do it again so I went back to front so I'm going to go from the back with my yarn needle come through and I'm going to put this loop over so I can create a knot to fasten it off I'm going to do that one more time and then we're just going to sew in our ends as normal so if I just quickly poke this to the back We'll pretend that I've sewn it in. Poke that one to the back, pretend I've sewn it in. We now have three stitches and no one's the wiser. If anyone picks that up, honestly, they're way too close to your project. And if you're wearing it like this one, they're way too close. <laughs> Which one was it? Was it that one? I've just looked away looking over at the computer yeah it's that one I can feel a tiny 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 knot you can't see it I need to snip off those little fuzzy ends okay let's scrunch it up and boom where was it was it there yep I can only see it because I can tell that's where it was I can because I can see that these loops here have got a bit cuffled so just poke them back but honestly once it's all if, if, if you're going to wash this item or soak it or block it or anything even if you don't you're not going to see it look at that I figured this out quite a, oh, quite a lot of months ago actually I would say at least a year ago because I made a blanket and was it a blanket or something I can't remember it was something with the granny stitch and I'd made a mistake quite a few rows back like that one and I just thought I was not in the mood and I thought how can I fix it so we faked it fake that stitch yes and I know there's another one I know there's three in this project I know there's one here this is the skirt section you can see where I've tied this yarn around there's only two stitches there and I know there's another one but I cannot find it I need to snip off all these ends I know it's there somewhere in that sea oh no that's not it <laughs> in that sea of crochet is that it yes I found it two more by themselves need to find some yarn I've got these little ends here where was it just there so that's three I need to fix I think there was only three in this project but yeah I cannot believe I found that the other day I sat there for like 20 minutes trying to find it and I couldn't find it so I need to fix those but hey no one's gonna know I hope you enjoyed this project I would love to see your creation on my Facebook group there is a link for that in the description box of this video tag me on Instagram if you're over there I'd love to see your creations as well thanks for watching and until next time happy crochet